Hello, happy Friday everybody. Thanks for coming back again to see me and uh, read a story to you tonight. Um, I'm a little bit late tonight in reading your story because I dropped my phone in the washing up bowl earlier and uh, it got very wet and it didn't want to work for quite a while. So I've just been able to turn it on. So tonight we're going to be reading a story called Someone Bigger. Are you ready? Come on then, come on. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They made it large. They made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first? Can I? said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. Uh, no, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. Then Dad let go and launched the kite, unwound the string and held it tight while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and it pulled Sam's dad into the sky. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I? said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail. A bank robber escaped from jail. A policeman riding on a horse. A bridegroom and his bride, of course. But all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I? said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. And then, by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I? said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the firemen cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew on. It would not fall. It pulled a rhino from its stall. And other creatures from the zoo. A tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too. And Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? Can I? said Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. But then Sam caught the kite. He grabbed the string and held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. And one by one they came back down, everyone from zoo and town. Rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride and bridegroom too. Horseman, robber, policeman and horse. And last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, said Sam, because I'm old enough and knew I was. I'm not too small and as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. <laughs>